The long rumor to exist but never confirmed, 1974D aluminum scent caused quite a stir when PCTS confirmed its existence in January 2014. The experimental pattern coin was owned by Randall Lawrence, who sold it to La Jolla, California coin dealer Michael McConnell. Lawrence came into possession of the coin after his father, Harry Edmund Lawrence, passed away. The older Lawrence served as deputy superintendent of the Denver Mint at the time the experimental coin was struck. The younger Lawrence and McConnell consigned the coin to Heritage Auctions, which planned to offer the coin at the 2014 Central States Numismatic Society Platinum Night Auction, but it never came to pass. The Treasury Department, having caught wind of the rare scent, attempted to retake possession. As the court process played out, conflicting rulings gave hope that the coin might actually remain in private hands. Those hopes were ground to a halt in March of 2016, when the settlement between McConnell and Lawrence and the Treasury Department saw the coin return to the United States Mint. In a press release issued at the time, United States Mint Deputy Director Rhett Jepson said that the coin's return was not only good for the integrity of the coin collecting hobby, but also for the integrity of government property and the rule of law. At the ANA in Anaheim, some 90 miles from the site of the coin's discovery, the 1974D aluminum scent was on display underneath secure glass on an endlessly spinning pedestal. And while the legal issues surrounding the government's selective prosecution on these matters is enough to make one's head spin, we'll just have to enjoy this ultra high definition footage of an aluminum scent worth several hundred times more than its weight in gold. For Coin Week, I'm editor Charles Morgan signing off. Happy collecting.